find me who cares and I will give my quick review of Deadpool and Wolverine and I've already done it on TikTok but this is going to be a bit more of a spoiler review and just in case you don't get spoiled you know skip the video watch the movie and then come back you know what I mean again I'm not going to go through anything about it because again there's plenty of videos out there that will go through each detail of the movie and yeah just in case why the microphone sounds sounds different because I'm on holiday so yes I don't have a microphone I'm using my phone to record this audio so yes the audio is a bit different so with that aside my thoughts on the movie very good fun from beginning to end very fun a fun film which it should be because if you follow the first two Deadpool movies they are fun films and yes I did mention on my TikTok review the story may not be mind blown but again like I said before it's a Deadpool movie the story is not the main focus in this now all the positives it's got to be the cameos I think the cameos are fucking genius I made up that I never watched the final trailer because a lot of people said there are spoilers in the final trailer which I got more for fires than I did and I watched the final trailer before I'm like thank fucking hell watch that trailer because fucking hell that is a dumb way to you know ruin the film with the cameo with your know, X-23 it's coming back in this movie which again a good trust but one of my biggest mind blown was um blade that was a good one but my main one was count tatum as gambit oh my god him as gambit it's so cool this is the thing if you don't know this count tatum may play gambit a long time ago he may have his own short film and it never happened and i was down on that because i want a gambit film because gambit is my favorite x-men I got three fate X Men: It's Wolverine, Beast, and Gambit. I think Gambit is a fucking badass, and I made up. We finally got to see kind of Jason playing as, you know, Gambit. About fucking time, and again a nice nod. And one of the main things I took from this film is it is a love letter to Fox's Marvel. Mainly, it is Fox's Marvel. It's a love letter. It's a farewell, because the way it ends too with a Ben Stone clips from the behind the scenes from all the um, Fox's Marvel movies, you know what I mean? It is a brief trust. It is a love letter. And this is the thing, you may love and hate some of them, but I gotta admit, we all grew up with them. And there was a lot of good Fox's movies. I mean, the X-Men movies were good. Yes, it went up and down, but still I have a blast with this movie those movies sorry and it is a love letter it is the whole thing is a love letter to Fox Marvel movies now my only nerves I had this movie is the the length but I think it's not been two hours of movie it's around two hours nine minutes as well as I think it's going to cut down at least 20 minutes. It will be a bit more stronger. Except from that, I had fun with it. I did the jokes as there. You know, the cameos are fantastic. And again, I know I've gone up more about the cameos, but still, it is a good nudge, especially way I said before, you grew up with these movies. And the soundtrack, like I said, so far now, is a, one of the best soundtracks I've heard this year in any film. World of good songs, a lot of them fit well, and yeah, if I look, soundtrack I will buy this year. So, what I said on my TikTok review, my final score for this movie is at 8.5 out of 10. So, yeah, this film is a blast. So, why are you saying, um, 
you want to see more reviews like this, please leave a like and comment. And also, what is your favourite moment in the movie? I hear it in the comments below. This has been a play, who cares? See you on the next one.